this is Christoph from Click. With this video, I'd like to show you how you can set up email sending function from ClickSense from the load script. This is video number one, where we will be setting up the functionality, as whereas video two is about creating alerts when certain data conditions are met. For example, KPIs are below or over a threshold. But let's set it up first. So um, you need to download the Click Web Connectors. And one of the Click Web Connectors, it's a standard one, so it's free of charge, is called the Click Notification Connector. This one has uh, one table. The table, however, uh, requires some parameters. And those are the parameters being taken to send out the email. And the result is a table telling you that the email was sent fine or it was not sent fine. So, um, Sending the email, you have to provide a couple of things. The username and password, which you are using to connect to this uh, SMDP server on that port with that uh, SSL mode. This is the target recipient. You need to put a valid email address here, but talk to this guy first because he will, while we are being, setting up the whole thing, receive a couple of emails now. Not later, once this is in the script, of course, but for the time you're setting it up. Um, you don't need to have a, a from name if you don't want to. But let me put a from email as well. And from name, it's called no reply. So click on save and run. What it does now, it returns this table. But while he's done so, it has sent out an email. The next thing is, and this is really key, right click on download as CSV. So this entry is the one we're interested. Copy this link address and keep it in the clipboard for a minute. So next thing is, I go and create a new app. Call it whatever you want. And you will need the script editor this time. So sorry for the fans of uh, smart data loads. This is scripting here. Um, choose the click rest connector. The, as the URL paste, but we've just copied into the clipboard and you will see that it ends with format equals CSW. And if you are interested, you can see that this actually is um, the address of the web connector and it provides all the information about sending the email as so-called query strings in get method. So get is okay and as an authentication scheme um, you pick anonymous. So hit test connection your friend will get another email uh, and then we call it send email and create this connection. Um, of course, um, if we cannot parameterize this connection, it will only send email to one person all the time. For now, um, let's um, uh, select data. So um, choose CSV has a header. Another email is sent out, by the way. Um, now I'm previewing the data and you will get another email this time. And let's insert this script for the moment. All we need is this SQL blah, blah, blah. Uh, the rest we can ignore. And each time I would run the script, I would send another email to uh, with that configuration. So now the key is that we are going to overwrite um, the parameters with parameters we specify in the script. So add the keyword with connection, open brackets, close brackets, and we are now providing a couple of things. You will also likely want to have a dynamic email message being created. Um, I'm computing the, uh, a message like this, and you can add the message as a query string. So everything I provide here overrides the original uh, configuration of the 
quick REST connect. Actually, since we've provided the format already, I don't need to put that here. Now that person gets an email. This person gets a copy. Of course, if you don't need it, leave it out. Um, and the subject is a computed one. So let's check my inbox. I've received a lot of emails um, from the testing. So where we said, please ignore this message. And now when I run this script, I will hopefully get another one. While we look for this or wait for this, let's have a quick lo look at the result of the table. And it says our uh, server address is not allowed. So what this means, um, the status is a failure. Um, I was attempting to send some something in the name of uh, somebody is not accepted by the by the server. So it's always good to interpret the results. So this time I'm hopefully good. And the reload says this time the status is okay. The email was sent. And so this time this piece of uh, content was sent from the script. In the next video, we're going to make more intelligent use of this functionality. So to trigger an email only when there is a need to. And this concludes the first video on sending email alerts. <laughs>